morning and a warm welcome to one and all present here. While we are gathered here today, we must acknowledge the overwhelming response received for the tax audit seminar. A huge round of applause for your enthusiasm and quest for knowledge. I take immense joy in calling C.A. Ravindra Korea sir, the chairman of SIKASA, to kindly accompany the dignitaries on to today's. We have with us today the esteemed, esteemed chief guest for the day, C.A. N. Nityananda sir, former council member of ICAI. C.A. Kota Srinivasa, vice chairman, SIRC of ICAI, who will be joining us shortly. C.A. Raghavendra Kurani sir, president, Karnataka State C.A. Association. C.A. Gita Ediman, vice chairperson, Bangalore branch. I request the Sikasa chairman, C.A. Ravindra Kore sir, to welcome the chief guest to the floor with okay? for generously spending their value with time with us. I would now like to call upon C.A. Ravindra Kore sir, Chairman of Sikasa, to kindly address the gathering. Over to you sir. Very good morning. Thank you, TV. Now, today we need to break fast. Break the, break the fast, fasting. No need to break the fasting. We have in a very knowledgeable sessions, technical sessions today. Today the program chief guest, CA and Vithyana Sir, the Ravindra Kuradi, President of Karnataka State Channel Con Association and the first woman who is going to take charge next year, CA Gita Hevi, Vice President and Vice Chairperson of Bangalore Branch and my beloved students. Very good morning once again. Very good morning, all of you. So, it is my privilege to welcome you all for this today's one day tax arrangement seminar arranged by the Sikasa Bangalore branch. On behalf of students gathered here from Sikasa Bangalore branch, we like to welcome and the man of perfection, always 24 by 7. He is always dynamic and last three decades. When I was a student, he was a board of studies addressing. I used to receive first newsletters from our Vithyana sir. I request all of you to welcome Vithyana sir for this time. There is only two entities other than the institute, the associations are active in the country. One is the Bombay Chattered Account Association and another one is our own Karnataka State Chattered Account Association. I would like to welcome Sri Raghavendra Purani for this gathering, I request our prayer coordinator, the keyword to present a Lord Bhakti to the keynote. As I mentioned earlier, the Bangalore is going to be creating a digital history in 2017, and the first chairperson, Roman chairperson, will going to charge. He is the presently vice chairman. On behalf of students gathered here and on behalf of Sikasa, I would like to welcome C.A. Gita A.B. I would like to welcome C.A. Gita A.B. I would like to welcome C.A. Gita A.B. Thank you. 
parents who missed this program, you just implement them to visit the website. And another program is going to be there and it is a mega event for the students on the 10th and 11th December. We have a national conference and we block the dates for the national conference is going to be held at Sophia Auditorium, Bangalore. With this, we will prepare. Once again, welcome you all for this one day seminar. Thank you one and all. I would like to call upon the respected chief guest for the day, the dignitaries on the days and the managing committee members of the Bangalore branch for the lighting of the lamp. Closing. Close. Chairman, Sir Ravindra Kaur, 
who was also a past president of KSCA and he will try to give his best to all of you because I am sure I worked with him, I was as a secretary so I know he will give the best and I take this opportunity to congratulate the SIKASA for organizing this wonderful seminar and uh, chief guest of today's seminar, CA Nityananda sir who is our beloved guru and is here to enlighten you in, on many insights hope you will have a good time today I thank you. I thank uh, uh, C.A. Gita who is uh, here and uh, Ota Srinivasar uh, and giving me the opportunity to speak to you. And I, I thank you all of you for uh, attending this knowledge sharing event. I am sure this seminar would give you far reaching benefits in your career. Thanks and have a good seminar. Thank you. C.A. Ota Srinivasar has joined us today. I request Sikasa Chairman uh, to welcome him with the floor of okay. Thank you sir. I'd like to call, take the opportunity to call upon C.A. Koda Srinivasa, the Chairman, SIRC of ICR, to kindly grace the gathering of his words. So, I'm going to go to the 
ಯಾಕೆಂದ್ರೆ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ನಾವು ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದೆ ದೃಢೀಕರಿಸಬೇಕು ಪ್ರಮಾಣೀಕರಿಸಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಏನ್ ದೃಢೀಕರಿಸಬೇಕು ಏನ್ ಪ್ರಮಾಣೀಕರಿಸಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಯಾವ್ದು ಆಡಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಾ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿ ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿ ಬಿ ನೋಡಿದ್ರ ಏನ್ ನಾವು ಸರ್ಟಿಫೈ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ನೀವಲ್ಲ ಏನ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಫಾರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿ ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿ ಬಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ವಿಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಸರ್ಟಿಫೈ ಇಷ್ಟ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಒಬ್ರು ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಯಾರು ಕೈ ಇರ್ತಲ್ಲ ಓಕೆ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರು ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ್ರು ಸರಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರು ಸರಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನಾಳೆ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿ ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಸಿ ನೋಡಿ ಏನ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹವ್ ಟು ಸರ್ಟಿಫೈ ಅಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೋಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಪುರಾಣಿಕ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸೇ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗ್ರೈನ್ ಎ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿವ್ ರೋಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಉಂಟ್ ಹವ್ ಡನ್ ದ ಆಡಿಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿವ್ ರೋಲ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸೀನಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ to see that uh, the audit will be complete in a befitting manner as such. As he was telling that uh, you have to do at least 75% of the work. But it may not be possible uh, in the initial years to do 75% of the work. So if you are in a first year of articles, you are in a supporting role, like uh, in a uh, game of chess, you are the soldiers. So you are the first people who will go and attend the client. We will allow you to go to the client. You are the first event. ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ್ ಸೈ ಬಂದ್ರು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಓಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೀವೇ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕೂಡ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನೇ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಬರೋದು ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೋಲ್ಜರ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸೀ ದ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸೀ ಇನ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬೋತ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಂಡಿಚರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಶೀಟ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕ್ಲೈಂಟ್ ವೆದರ್ ಯು ಟು ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಟ್ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಫೈನಾನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಅದು ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಂಡಿಚರ್ ಸೈಡ್ one is assets and liabilities that's what uh, you have to do all about so you have to see which one you have to concentrate in a particular client assets so which one you have to give importance and of course you know the auditing the sample testing all those things you know so you have to adopt all these techniques while doing the audit and one thing uh, let me tell you that uh, to do tax audit it's not that you should know only income tax act you should know all the acts to do income uh, tax audit it's not just you have to know only income tax act or income tax provisions to do tax audit when you go there you have to know all that say for example if you go and check in a particular industry where there are uh, more than uh, 10 or 15 employees and where they are under the esi pf you should know those acts also when there are uh, people who are in karnataka and they are paying uh, profession tax you should know profession tax also when there are in manufacturing industry you should know excise to excise act also if not the entire gamut of the tax laws at least you should know the basics of those acts and whenever you go to a client you should understand what is the type of client if it is a proprietor or it's a partnership firm or it's a company then you should see the basic documents before going to the audit say if it is a partnership firm who are all the partners there uh, how many partners are there how many working partners are there what is the uh, interest that they are getting or what are the remuneration they are drawing so so many aspects you have to understand and then go and attempt to the audit and one more thing don't uh, when once you go to the audit when once you are uh, discussing with the client if you don't know you keep quiet don't argue with the client better not get into the argument with the client and also as far as possible don't show your ignorance in front of the client even if you don't know something you can say yes, okay sir we will get back to you so we should not as a as a student you should not get into argument with any of the client and before going to that particular client as i said certain homework is required maybe you have to go to the previous uh, working papers previous year's working papers previous year's uh, uh, their statements you have to see or you can discuss with your uh, uh, seniors or your principal before going and taking up certain audits that's how you can contribute uh, or you can add value to the audit work so basically the client ask us to have give them value addition so the value addition can be given by doing proper audits one more thing i can tell you is when once you do audit properly uh, subsequently even when once you go for uh, scrutiny or scrutiny assessments the assessments will be very easy only when once you do audit properly then the assessments will be easy otherwise the assessments will be very difficult when once you don't do proper audit as such so your role as i said in the initial years as a support you role you
the second year maybe you are uh, like a manager so you have to manage the work or supervise supervise the work maybe you can uh, in the first year if you are doing contributing 20% second year you should be in a position to do at least uh, more than 50% of the work now in the chess game again uh, if I come to the chess game uh, after the soldiers the other sergeants are there no? like that man of the work <laughs> And when, when it comes to the third year, you have to manage the entire audit. You should be in a position to manage the entire audit. So in such a way that uh, your boss or principal will come and say, you show me where I have to sign, I will sign. If, if your principal says to you, just show me where I have to sign, I will sign, that is a confidence level that he has got on you and the confidence that you have built on for yourself. So in the third year, you should do everything in such a way that you should complete the entire uh, audit, maybe. Uh, I can say maybe 95% of the audit you have completed in the third year so that uh, wherever technical uh, requirement is there that your principal will come and help you so that uh, you can complete the audit as such. Except signing, you can do everything. And today even signing you can do because I will give my digital signature so my article only uh, uploads the return. So digitally you can sign also. But the thing is, what I am saying, like you should be, you should be, you should reach that position in the third year of your article sheet that your uh, principal should uh, completely believe you and say that yes, what you have done is correct. And there should be very, very less uh, <coughs> corrections. See, whatever the client gives, it will not be the final. So there will be a lot of uh, correction that is required. And uh, of course, when once you are doing with uh, the small and the medium uh, uh, clients, so you should educate them also how to maintain the books of accounts certain times. And then once you do the audit, you try to prepare your notes of accounts and now in the next year you may have to go for ICDS uh, uh, this thing requirement. So now after this audit, start preparing for this, that also and I am confident our uh, SIKASA chairman will organize uh, more programs on uh, those things. So you can learn that ICDS uh, requirements also so that it will be helpful for you for next year. And coming to the today's program, the uh, program is designed well by the SIKASA. And I'm confident that uh, all the speakers uh, are well uh, trained and well expert. They have expert knowledge in the uh, subject. So I only wish that uh, you stay there for the uh, entire day and learn uh, all the aspects and nuances of this tax audit and uh, contribute a lot to your firm and also to this profession. All the best to all of you in uh, all your endeavors throughout your life. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I would like to acknowledge the chairman of the Bangalore branch, CA Pamparna sir, has raised the occasion for his presence. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us as the chief guest of the day, CA N. Nityananda sir, former CCM of ICEI, a professional child accountant with three decades of value addition services to clients, government and the economy. Sir, as the chairman of Central Taxes and Corporate Laws Committee Federation of Karnataka Chambers of Commerce. He has served on several important committees, of Government of India, Government of Karnataka, RBI, SEBI and the IRDA. Sir has represented India as the International Federation of Accountants in New York, USA. He is a regular invitee as a panel member of discussions on Union Budget and Indian Economy in Doordarshan, other media channels, All India Radio and Print Media. Sir has received Vijayashree Award by IIFS New Delhi. He has also received the Seva Ratna Award for Outstanding Services as a Professional on the occasion of Kannada Rajyotsava and received the Sagar Prashasti Award by the prestigious Rangashri Kala Samste. Also, Sir was recently appointed as the Director of the Central Bank of India. So we are honoured to have you amongst us today. I request you to kindly address the gathering. Thank you, Sir. Chairman 
of the Sikha Samish to Ravindra is Kore. Equally dynamic and uh, active chairman of the bench, Mr. Pamparna. My dear friend, uh, Mr. Bhutta Srinivas, the chairman of the, or I should say, chairman elect of SARC. And same way, chairman, chairperson elect of the Bangalore branch, Madam Gita. And my dear friend, Raghavedra, the president of the Karnataka State Chartered Accountants Association. And the young uh, student leaders, Mr. Sheila Vandaya and Mr. Purva. And my dear student friends. At the outset, I am extremely thankful to Mr. Ravindra Kore for uh, inviting me here. Because whenever I participate in a student program at Bangalore branch, I remember my student days. So we revived the Sikasa activities in the year 76 77. I was the vice chairman of the Sikasa as a student leader. And uh, for 30 years back, I was in the uh, Revenue for Exposition heading the Sikasa here. Okay. And I should say, at the beginning itself, Mr. Ravindri Kore has given a new thrust as far as the students' activities and students are the future of the profession. I mean, you are the taxpayers of the profession and you should be taken care of well in terms of activities, in terms of hand-holding and that's what uh, Mr. Ravindri Kore and Mr. Pampana are doing and his, their teams are doing. All the best to you, Mr. Ravindri Kore, you right? Because we are all with you in that. Talking of uh, tax audit, Srinivas or Elta Idru in overwhelming response there. So, Yashto interest to Mundo, Ella, Vidya Theatre, Padida, and Lee Nama, Terege, and a couple of short name, okay, Kilko Vekunda. Other no Tere, Indo then other tax audit season, a lay, the Ili Bade, the Bas Moka, Plate Moka, and other Twitter. One day, I have a free agreement. <laughs> but uh, jokes apart, please uh, take every exercise as a knowledge exercise. Whatever you do in the office, whatever you come here to learn, please don't think that you are doing it for uh, someone else. When you do the work in the office, don't think that I am doing it for my boss or my office. Please think that you are doing the work for yourself. I mean, then your whole approach is different. Whole approach to the work is different and you will become a perfect chatter opponent. If you try to do something for someone else, it is just like an employee approach. So it will be like a 10 to 5 approach and at 5 o'clock, I mean, throw the papers and go off wherever you want. But if you try to put your heart out in whatever you are doing, I mean, uh, just uh, take any walk of life. If uh, by chance your mother gives you a perfect coffee or tea, there is a perfection which she has achieved. If she gives a good breakfast, there is a perfection which she has achieved. I mean, you may think, after all, what is there in making a coffee, morning coffee? I mean, if she gives you a good coffee, I and mean, there is a perfection which she has achieved, your mother. So same way, I mean, in each and every walk of life, in our audit, in our taxation, representation, whatever we do, we should, I mean, strive for perfection. Then only, I mean, a profession or a professional is distinguished from a, any other vocation. Otherwise, we are not uh, considered, I mean, we are a very small number in such a large population of India. They're just two and a half lakh plus. They are a very small number. But why are we, I mean, so much respected and so much recognized? Because of our uh, perfection and because of our professionalism. So, you should all try for that. And we are coming to tax audit, I have been given about 10 12 minutes. Coming to tax audit, you should know that it is just uh, when the whole process started, we were all in the council and I was involved in uh, designing this tax audit guidance note also. It is nothing but an extended arm of the, we are acting as extended arm of the department. Earlier, even a 5000 rupees return 
there used to be a scrutiny. We used to spend more times in the corridors of the department when we started the profession than in our own offices. Because every case was a scrutiny case. So if you have 100 files, all the 100 files scrutiny. It may be a loss case, it may be a 5,000 rupees case or a 5 crore case. Everything is a scrutiny. From that stage, they have come to some, something like limited scrutiny or 3% random scrutiny, all that. That is because they want the systems to work on its own. That's how they introduce the tax audit, when uh, the chartered accountants are just like extended arms of the department. So that they gather and they scrutinize all the books of accounts. They give the report, based on that, the returns are accepted. So that's how the whole tax audit uh, thing started. Another thing which uh, should all be clear, these things will be taken up, of course, in the technical session. But I would like to highlight is uh, whatever you follow, whether it's a, first thing is whether a tax audit statements, are they what is called as a GPFS, that is the general purpose financial statements. That's a very key thing which uh, all of you should understand. Because tax audit is just not for the purpose of filing with the income tax department filing the return of income. It is considered as a general purpose financial statement. Whatever financial statements you are enclosing with your 3CD, 3CA or CB as the case may be, is a general purpose financial statement. That's how all the standards, I mean, you should follow while performing the audit. And this uh, statement will not only be used by the tax department, may be used by the bankers, I mean, uh, if you go to the banks, they say above a limit, I mean, whether the tax audit is completed, LFER. If you do the bank audit, there is a clause there. So bankers use it, many other people, stakeholders use it. So it's called a general purpose financial statement. So that should, you should be very clear. And follow all the procedures when it comes to tax audit. Because in tax audit, there is a peculiarity, you have the organized sector like companies, large companies, corporations on one side. On the other side, you have, I mean, uh, even a pretty small trader. Okay, there may be a Pan Bida shop fellow who is having a good turnover, or a provision store, or a small Kirana dealer. So he is also there who is not having his own uh, professional staff to support. And we also have the organized sector. But whether you are doing it for a Kirana dealer or you are doing for a multinational IT company, you have to follow all the procedures prescribed by the institute. First of all, I mean, before you start, you should tell your boss also, I mean, by chance, because boss assumes that you are following it many times. But you should just find out first whether there is an appointment letter. And have you issued an engagement letter? I mean, these, are you all aware of these things in the auditing procedures? So, many times what happens, a Kirana dealer will not give you an appointment letter. So, you may have to maybe generate an appointment letter, get his signature. I mean, you are putting everything into a system, that's all. So, if by chance the Kirana dealer comes, make an appointment letter in favor of your firm, get it signed before you start the work. And have you issued an engagement letter to the same Kirana dealer? So, Follow all the procedures as required in, under any other audit and assurance uh, work. And the most important thing is the working papers. You should know that uh, we have peer review, we have quality board, everything is there. So whenever peer review is done, even the tax audit papers are peer review. So you should have all the uh, working papers well organized. I mean, more, one problem what I find is, Kelsa and Lava Chana Marti, you know, new Chana Marti, and now Chana Marti. But Kelsa Chana Marti, you know, the working papers fully, it should reflect. If you don't keep the working papers, what all you have verified? Have you got the confirmation of balances? What all you have checked? What are the areas of concern? Everything, unless it is recorded, tomorrow if someone asks, I mean, we have nothing to really show how we have done the work, how systematically we have done the work. So keep the working papers in a proper manner so that not only for peer review, tomorrow for any other, uh, if by chance there is an inquiry from the department, inquiry from the institute, or there is a disciplinary proceeding, anywhere. I mean, you have all the papers uh, to demonstrate 
that you have followed all the standards, you have done the work as required by the standards. The last point I would like to mention is uh, you, we, I mean, as chartered accountants, the persons who certify, we may be the extended arm of the department. But the whole profession depends on your work. You, whatever quality of work, what you deliver as students, that is the work which will be reflected in the final tax audit report. So you should take extra caution, extra effort you should do to see that the quality of the tax audit reports are of the highest order on one side. And also while filling up each column, I request you to kindly take extra care because uh, the present limited scrutiny regime which is there in the tax department, we find that many of the limited scrutinies are coming because of uh, sometimes even wrong uh, filling up of the tax audit form columns. Okay. In one case, I mean on the service tax, something is filled up under the 43B column. So they say that that is not added in the so whatever you do, kindly fill it up very carefully and while also filing the return of income because it's also again online, please see that one to one matching is done. And in the tax audit report, wherever you have uh, some doubt or some columns are not provided in the statute or the forms, give kindly a note which explains uh, how exactly you have computed or why it is treated differently. so that. Tomorrow in case of scrutiny, you have a clear evidence as to why I mean it has been given that particular treatment. And friends, to the end I would like to mention, because my time is almost up, another one minute, I would like to mention that this is the only course, the Chartered Accountancy course, is the only course which is the most reasonably priced course and which doesn't discriminate students on any basis, every student of every shape is welcome in the society and uh, large number of our students, I should say, and large number of chartered accountants were there, have come from the poorest of poor background and they are doing exceedingly well in the profession and this is a profession which gives you a lot of respect and reasonable uh, economic returns and very good uh, social status. I wish you all good luck in the tax audit and also in becoming the professionals. I mean, uh, join the profession as quickly as possible, completing the difficult examinations. All the best to you. I now request the Chairman of the Bangalore branch, Sri Pampana Sir, to kindly address the gathering. Good morning everybody. On behalf of Bangalore branch and also Bangalore Sikasa, I warm welcome to each one of you for one day tax audit seminar. I will not take much of my time. All our seniors have told what has to do in tax audit and all those things. The only one word to one, one suggestions to you is Take uh, your uh, article sheet very seriously, what you have to learn, the practical aspects, what you are studying for the examination is only the theoretical part and what you learn during your article sheet is uh, important and also on the based upon your practical aspect and exposure what you have during your articles which will also help you in uh, writing the examinations and that only the, my suggestions to you, take uh, uh, article sheet planning seriously, attend your uh, offices regularly and involve you, know, you as a as if uh, you have cleared the chartered accountant who goes and uh, you have to act as a chartered accountant only when you go to your client place. That is a pride you are having uh, being joined for the CA coach. It is a noble profession having wonderful opportunities for the students after completing the CA. That's, uh, so I request each one of you to take this serious and they also uh, complete your examination as early as possible. That's all. To me, all the best for your examinations. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I request here Geeta, ma'am, 
To kindly give away our token of appreciation to the special invitee of today, Sr. Ravindra Pranik sir. I request C.A. Ravindra Kodya sir to kindly give a token of appreciation to the esteemed chief guest for the day, C.A. Nityananda sir.